2K19 is about to come out. I know you guys are going to want your players maxed out. I know you guys are going to want to get your players ready to go. Team Witness's badge grinding service just now opened for reservations. All right, just for reservations. If you guys want to get your badges maxed for cheap as soon as the game drops, go reserve your spot now. This is only for reservations, and you can use code COLE for 20% off. All right, click the link down below in the description. Clean Shave Bowl is back in the building. All right. Uh, the bowl tea, it, it just had to go. I wasn't feeling it, man. But anyways, what's going on, boys? We're back with a brand new video. Before we hop into this, I know you guys are going to have a whole bunch of questions. Listen up, okay? I'm going to talk about two builds, okay? At the end of the video, you guys should not have any questions, so watch the full video. If you don't watch the full video, you're going to have questions. Watch the whole video, and I'm, I'm going to explain everything to you guys, all right? A couple days ago, I told you guys that I would show you guys my build if that video hit at least 2,000 likes. I think it's almost at 4,000. You guys are showing so much support. And uh, yesterday, I had a lot going on. I couldn't upload, but today I got you guys. And uh, yeah, this build is going to be lit. Now, someone I do know has the game early, and he made this build for me. I know all the max caps at 99. I know all the max caps at 85 when you first upgrade your player. I know everything about this build, and this build is going to be the most overpowered build in 2K, in my opinion. Just from looking at the stats, I really feel like this build is going to be dope. Listen closely. The build is a shooting guard, a six foot seven playmaking shot creator, all right? Shot creator primary, playmaking and ball handling secondary, minimum wingspan, default weight. That is the build I'm going with. Yes, I know that this build does not get any Hall of Fame badges, but overall it has a whole bunch of gold badges and silver badges and it's gonna be OP. Now legally, I can't throw up the full screenshots or I might get uh, a copyright strike on my channel from 2K, but I'm gonna throw up the tiny screenshots of the attribute caps of this player. You guys can go ahead and look at it right now. I'm gonna talk mainly about the most important stats, uh, but as you guys can see, he gets an 88 standing layup. Driving layup is an 85, okay? Really good, both of those are really good. Shot close, 88. Uh, the dunk ratings are okay. Look at the middies. And these attribute caps right here are the ones that are maxed out at 99, full potential on this build. Um, contact dunk, 69. Open midi. The open shot midi is a 90, moving 86. Um, contested shot three, 74. Open shot three is an 80. Open shot three is an 80 at its best. I'm telling you guys right now, this build is going to be one of the most unstoppable builds in the game. And I forgot to also mention, you guys are going to ask me, Cole, why did you go with minimum wingspan? I'm six foot seven. I should still be able to contest shots, have really good defense. So that is why I went with six foot seven. Now, the only downside about this build is he has an 86 ball control. As you guys can see from the stats right here, 86 ball control at its max. So you are going to have to upgrade. He's not going to be able to speed boost off rip. You're going to have to grind the ratings and you're going to have to get his ball control up to an 86. An 86 ball control is what you have to have at least to be able to speed boost to momentum and all that stuff. So 86 ball control. That's a W, um, but that's only going to be when it's at its max cap. So that's the only downside, but I'm going to go with this build still. Um, ball control, 86. Speed with ball is a 79. You know, all these are looking good. Lateral quickness, 74. Shot contest. All these are looking fine. They're just average stats. Uh, speed, 83. Acceleration, 80. Uh, strength, 65. Stamina, 99. All right. Like I've already said, these stats were the stats for a 99 overall when they're maxed out. Um, now, these are the attribute caps. I'm going to throw it up on the screen right here. These are all the attribute caps at an 85 overall. So once you upgrade your player max at an 85, you haven't grinded any My Career Park, anything like that to unlock more. So these are the max caps at an 85. Um, you know, all these are pretty good. Three-point shot is at a 74. All these open shot midi, 85. Like I said, all these are pretty decent. But the most important thing is to take a look at the ball handling. All right. The ball handling is only at an 80 so like i said the max cap is an 86 so you're gonna have to grind hard to get that at an 86 overall and that's when you're gonna be able to speed boost 86 that is the only downside about this build um it's gonna take a little bit to speed boost but overall i think having a tall point guard in the long run is better than having a short point guard thinking short term being able to speed boost it first you're gonna get clamped don't do it go with a tall point guard build um i thought this build is gonna be op that is going to be my official build in 2K19. But since you guys love to see me dribble and I make entertaining videos with dribbling, I got to drop the dribble tutorials. You guys already know I'm one of the top dribblers in the game. And I know you guys are going to want to see that on my channel. So 
Since I cannot speed boost off rip with this build, I'm gonna be using that player behind the scenes, uh, grinding him in my career, grinding him, getting the badges, getting the attribute upgrades in order to speed boost with him. But in the meantime, I'm gonna make a new player and I'm gonna be using him at the park for streams, for videos. And that build is gonna be a six foot eight shooting guard, pure playmaker. I'm gonna go with that. And he's going to be able to speed boost off rip. He gets a 90 ball control. I do believe minimum wingspan, default weight. I'm going to go with that build at first just so I can speed boost for you guys. And uh, drop a like on this video if you guys want me to go into detail about that build as well. That A lot of people are sleeping on the pure playmakers. All right, you get seven Hall of Fame badges. Seven. All right, and Mike Wang even confirms that you get a shooting boost off ankle breaker. So it's going to be a good build. All right, now. That's not my official build. If that build turns out to be good, then I might just stick with it and go with that build on NBA 2K19. But for the most part, I really do want to make a six foot seven uh, playmaking shot creator, minimum wingspan, default weight. I want to go with that build. I think that build is going to be the best in the long term. Long run, that build is going to be the best. Short term, I'm going to go with this six foot eight playmaker. Like I said, if you guys want a full video on that build, let me know down below in the comment section. Let me know by dropping a like on the video. Um, that's pretty much all I got to say today for you guys um hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys did make sure to go and drop a like make sure to sub to the channel daily reminder as always you can't talk trash if you got numbers in your name and get you an asian girl i love y'all man peace